It was another illustration of the dangers of daily life in the Algerian capital, the discovery of a bomb in a crowded mosque. The Imam thanked Allah for the discovery. A week after, several worshippers were killed in another mosque. But while this bomb was safely defused, elsewhere another claimed its target, a governing party candidate in next week's local elections. In the past month, the death toll in Algeria's civil conflict has rocketed, cemeteries filling with the graves of those massacred by Islamic militants. Among those still mourning, a woman who described her daughter's death. She was slaughtered, she said. She was only two years old and was with her grandfather, who was also killed. Another woman said her husband's killers had surrounded their home and then shot him, and many other people as well. Almost six years after it began, the Algerian conflict has claimed up to 80,000 lives. The government of President Zeroe hopes that next week's elections will weaken the political hand of Muslim fundamentalists, the banned Islamic Salvation Front. But among a people constantly fearful of further atrocities, there's despair that nothing looks likely to reduce the ongoing violence.